Good morning father. I see you've noticed the new filing cabinet. Uh, I was wondering where it came from. It arrived yesterday, Baba said your factory was closing and the office was just going to throw it away, so he thought of us. Oh, well, that's very nice of him. Did it cost us anything? And pay him with what, father? Can I help you find anything? Yes, I was looking if we have any record of a Mr. Gleeistern in our parish. Mr. Gleeistern? I thought he died. He used to come around here a lot. I just met him yesterday. He's alive, but paralyzed and not handling it well. How come I didn't know about this? Wow, that had to have happened during the transition. People didn't like that Father James was removed, so I thought he stopped coming to church. Father James was just reassigned, he wasn't removed. I'll get out of your way. If you could find Mr. Glee Eistern's file, I would like to talk with the family. Sure father. Any decision if you're going to close down this parish? Amy, that's not up to me. We're just filling up the reports like we always do. I wasn't the son here to close this parish. Please find Mr. Glee Eistern's file for me. Father, Mr. Geliza just came in, he would like to see you. Sure, send him in. Thanks for seeing me father. We gave what you said a lot of thought. Wonderful. Do you have a name? Yep. We were thinking of how you stated that the name should say something about our son. Yes. So, I haven't talked with Kathy, but I think I have a name for our boy. Excellent. What are you thinking? He who wins games. Okay, so what's the name? That was the name. Seriously? Yes father. That name really says what I want of my son. Please let's sit down. Is there something the matter? Why haven't you shared the name with Kathy? Well, I was thinking you and I could tell her. Like ganging up on her? No, no just helping her understand why we would go with the name. Please help me, understand this name. Father, yesterday you said that the name should mean something. Why not just have the meaning be the name? For the obvious reasons, difficulty calling him by name, and he would become a punch dummy. But you know this, Joe, what is this really about? I just want... I just want people to know him when they hear his name. That's why you need to work this out with Kathy. Share with her your concerns and I know you two will work this out. Excuse me, Father. I have that file you asked for. Excellent. Joe, is there anything else I can do? No, you're right. Sure, but please let me know what you two come up with. Of course. You're going to baptize our child. You're going to be interested in seeing who Mr. Glee Stern's family is. Yeah? Yes, Susan Stafford and her sister Gladys. This is incredible. So, I attempted to broach the topic with the mom, and she would not even listen to anything than what she believes. I would have expected this from the father more than the mother. You know, like it's a threat to his manhood to have a gay son. I think it's difficult for either of the parents. In this day and age, it's more common and not really swept under the rug as it had been. Well, while that is true, there is something to be said about proliferation that every parent wants from their children. I understand that, but the parents shouldn't be so adamantly against their child's growth. I know, I just understand their side too. How's that little parish that you've been assigned to? Are you going to recommend closing it? If the bishop asked me, I would hate to. People are just not coming to the church. Worse, I just learned, one of my parishioners is doing to, their own father. Oh? Euthanizing, I couldn't believe it. I just met the man last night and he may have medical difficulty, nothing so severe. Do you think there is any severity that would green light a euthanization? What? Come on, no, of course not. Have you ever been in that situation? Have a loved one brain dead? That's the thing, he's paralyzed from the neck down. He's still talking. I had a conversation with him just last night. You didn't answer the question. Euthanizing. No, come on, you know me well enough to know that. It's not so easy of a thing when faced with a loved one suffering. You have experienced this? No, not me personally. But when my auntie was wasting away in the hospice, I had a hard time telling my uncle that euthanization was bad. I didn't know. A lot of times. People don't, just be sure to listen to the family. I know what we believe, but the family is suffering. Father Joey, careful, you sound like you're in opposition to our faith. Dave, you know me better than that. The rubber hits the road when putting faith into practice. I know, trust me. I know.
You hit the jackpot today. Oh. Are you going in to see Mr. Glee Stern? Yes, I am headed there right now. Mr. Glee Stern's family is visiting with him. Did you call them? No, but this will work out perfectly. I've been wanting to see all of them. Well, have fun. Mr. Glee Eyestar, how are you? Susan, Larry, it's nice to see you. Father, it's nice to see you. I hear you met my sister Gladys. Nothing has changed. I'm not feeling any different. Gladys, it's nice to meet you again. Mr. Glee Eyestar, you are in my prayers. Father, it's nice to see you, but I thought this was a private meeting. Well, I certainly didn't call him. I wasn't called. I normally visit patients in the evening. Since you're here, maybe you can give the biblical references of a family helping a loved one move on to their next destination. That's just regarding your faith. Not everyone shares the same beliefs. Let me attempt to help out. In our Catholic belief, we don't believe in euthanization, if that is the topic. Father. Arg. Not this again. I changed my mind. I would like to hear what he has to say. Father. How can you say that? You're a priest, aren't you? Yes, but our faith is very clear that we respect life at all stages. What makes you think we don't? Well, I just assumed our church has been keeping up with the times. It seemed very vibrant. The church is vibrant, but haven't you heard the saying a church that marries itself to one age is dead in the next? Well, this is a private family matter. No, this is about doing the right thing, and I think he should be here. Don't I get a say in any of this? Is this really about getting a say, or doing what's morally correct? Father, no offense but you just don't understand. Oh, I think he understands perfectly. You don't like what he's saying, Susan. You know, I am coming into this brand new. Susan, would you care to catch me up? Take it outside. I don't want to listen to any more of it. Father, I think you know all that you need to know. Perhaps, but I would like to learn more from Susan. I'm going to stay here. I'm glad you asked me out here because I don't feel you understand. My father has a virus in him, it's eating away his organs. There was an infection from some of the wounds he received when he fell. He's in a great deal of pain and I, well, we hate to see him suffering. I understand. That's just it, father. I don't think you do. When we were kids, our dad was always busy. He was always active, but now, to see him like this. Sounds like your dad has a great life. Did you get to go with him? What? Oh, no, father. This was things he was doing for work. Me and Gladys was with him when he was home. Was he home a lot? Oh no. No, he was on the road more than he was at home. But he always brought us presents. Doesn't sound like you guys had a chance to get to know each other. Have you ever talked with him about his life? Well, no. I mean we got busy with dating. Then we got married. He was busy. Then I was busy with my life. Father, you're not saying I've ignored him. No, Susan, no. I might suggest that he's feeling useless right now. It sounds like there may be gaps in your relationship. Take this time that you had with him and learn about parts of his life that you don't know about. I don't know. I mean, I have work and the kids and... This is an opportunity for you to know your father. Okay, father. But what about his pain? They have medication for that. But I think you all will feel better getting to know each other. Get Gladys involved too. Okay, father. But we're still going to have a discussion about our beliefs. I'll look forward to that.